It's your boy Fun Four Big Frank, man. I just jumped off the porch with Dirty Glove Bastard, man. You dig? Take off. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Fire bees to the flow right now. Right now. Eat a rub, show her how you get down. Get down. Off the train. Yes, sir, yes, sir. We right back at it, y'all. We got Milltown's finest, the one and only Big Frank, jumping off the porch with us today. What's, What's up, happening? bro? What's that word? What's man. going on with it? Uh, cooling, bro. Cooling, man. It's a pleasure to have you on the porch, Hell bro. Hell yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How you feeling, man? Feeling good, man. That's what's feeling up. good, man. That's what's feeling, up, bro. Feeling blessed, too. Yeah. Been, been seeing so much activity, bro. You know what I'm saying? Lately. I mean, you've been... You've been having the, heat, the, the the streets hot for a minute, you know what I'm Hell saying? Hell yeah. But now it's like just such a, it, it almost feels like it's, it's like more complete now. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Um, it seems like just things is finally, you know, yeah. coming together the right way. You know on what I mean? I'm like on some, man, finally type shit. Yeah, you know? Nah, yeah, that's what yeah. it do, man. So talk to us about, I know that you were just at South by Southwest, man. Yeah. Can you like talk to us about what that experience was like for you? Man, that shit was lit. So that was my first time going down there. Yeah. And then, you know, like, and then a lot of people was coming up to me. It felt like I was at the crib. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? When I'm at the crib, it's like, it's a lot of love. Yeah. But when I was there, it was the, it was the same energy. Uh, so I'm like, like, damn, bet. Yeah. I'm like, shit, I might like, see it down here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hell yeah, no shit. Nah, that's ill, man. Like, and how does it feel when, I mean, cats is familiar with the lingo, they they doing the dance, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we, shit, we finally get the uh, recognition we deserve, man. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, nah, that's what's up, man. So, bro, can you talk to us, man, about, you know, being from Milwaukee and, and what it was like for you, you know, coming up, bro? Yeah, you know, this shit was kind of hard, like, trying to come up type shit, you know, like, when everybody, cause I was ass, you know what I'm saying? Like nobody ain't really fucked with me back then. Yeah. So I'm like, so damn, what the fuck to do to uh, get a come up woo type shit? Yeah. So I just started uh, putting my uh, comedian on the side, then start going viral from there. Yeah. You know, coming up and shit, a lot of getting a little love yeah. from from the outsiders. Mm -hmm. And then once I like blow up doing this, uh, I forgot I was doing the uh, impersonation of uh, uh, like other rappers type okay. shit. Yeah. So that shit started blowing up too. So yeah. I, so that. She was at like a million. Yeah. And then now I'm getting the, it's going there. Yeah. And then so I added my music on there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, so I sneaked that in with my comedy. Yeah. And then I was, you know what I'm saying? It was still like kind of, ah. And then it was, it was getting there. So, you know what I'm saying? Got to keep elevating. So did you start out doing comedy or were you rapping first? I was rapping first, but I just said, like say I was ass. So I, so I <laughs> yeah, put some I, funny I, shit in there. So I put you. some funny shit in there. Yeah. And then. <clears throat> then start elevating from start, there. Start hitting for you. Now, I can dig yeah. it, man. But let's take it a little bit further, bro. Like, I really want to, like, you know, get into your story, man. And, like, who is Big Frank, bro? Like, what was it like for you coming up in the city of Milwaukee, like, as a kid growing up, bro? Like, you know what I mean? Man, coming up, man, that shit feel good. And sometimes I'll be like, damn, bro, is this a dream? Hmm. But, yeah, back to the old days. Like, I wasn't even Big Frank or nothing. Yeah. I was dreadhead, bro. <laughs> Banging yeah. and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Dancing and shit. Hell yeah. So it's like, like, man, I, I feel good about that shit. Right. Like, and what side of town did you uh did you come up on? I was on uh I lived on I lived at Park Line first. Oh, okay, where? On 47th okay. and Marion. Okay. And yeah. then I moved on uh then I moved to Uptown. I was on like 49th to Halley. Okay. And then okay. I moved to the east, east, east. Hey. Moved to the east side. <laughs> that east side. Motherfuckers was going hood to hood yeah. type yeah. shit. Yeah, Hell that yeah. low end, right? Hell yeah, low end for real. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah, I could dig it, man. And so you know, growing up in Milwaukee, like a lot of people don't know, you know, um, how segregated our city is and how, you know, our city is designed to, you know, set black people and, and black men specifically, you know, back. I mean, the city is pretty much designed for us to get into the system early and pretty much be trapped. You know what I mean? So, like, how are you able to maneuver and, you know, not get caught up in bullshit? You know, shit, you know, like I ain't. For me to get not caught up in there is like, cause I'm me. Yeah. You know, a lot of people be claiming that they from the street, you know what right, I'm saying? Trying right. to be, trying to get that role, but they ain't really like that. Yeah. And like me being myself and being with my brothers and shit, like, cause we real life turned up and we good vibes and have fun and shit. Yeah. So we out of that equation, we, we more from that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We just some young blacks that's trying to make it. Right. Put on for the city. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And uh, tell us who you got on the porch with. Man, them, these man. my brothers, man. They called the Bank Boys. Yeah. After, uh, cause my guy, he passed away from cancer. Bankhead, so rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace, Bankhead. Hell yeah. 
Yeah, nah, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. And I be seeing them in like all your niggas TikToks, all your videos, catch me yeah. going crazy. Them niggas yeah. turn. This ain't even half of it. <laughs> it's plenty of us. Yeah. <laughs> nah, that's what it do. That's what it do. And how important is it for you to, you know, have your brothers around you, have a good team, you know what I'm saying, around you? Yeah, it's, you know what I'm saying, like, hell yeah, it's like, I can't, you know, motherfuckers think they can do it themselves. Hell no. Nah. Yeah. You got to have that, you know what I'm saying, got to have that brothership and that team, you know what I'm saying, unite, you yeah. know what I mean? You know, you know, we uh, we argue, we fuss and fight a lot better than yeah. day. It's all love with it. No, no, for sure, for sure. And uh, shout out to my guy, the playmaker. You know what I'm saying? Hell One yeah. Of the, marketing geniuses. You know what I mean? Like Hell from yeah. the mill, and the cat that's been putting it down. But Hell yeah. you know, I know like, you know, a cat like him on your team, and you know what I mean? Like just having people on your team thinking outside the box and things like that. How important is it? to have those people around you and not just be, cause you know, a lot of artists are like, man, I, I don't, you know, I could do this myself. I don't yeah. need a stylist. I don't need people doing marketing. I don't need an yeah. a &R. I, I got this, you know what I mean? But it's definitely so important for us to have a vital team, a, 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 a strong structure, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. It's like, they can see, it's like having a team like that. They can see something you can't see. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then you be like, damn, I can, go up like that if they tell me you know what i'm saying yeah tell me like what to do in here hell yeah so yeah. Yeah. word now i could dig it man so digging back into your uh into like your life story though um you know coming up like did you have brother do you have brothers and sisters like what was y'all yeah yeah i got brothers they all on my dad's side you know? okay my word. dad got plenty of damn kids type yeah shit. <laughs> now i can dig it man and so w were you so you said they was on your pop side. So yeah. like, did you? So did you have to ever like kind of be like that brother that's you know what I mean almost like raising your siblings up or holding yeah. them down or like? Man, they was one listening to me. They was bad as hell, just like yeah. I was. We was all over the place. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's just like, but now that we older, we motherfucker got sense now. Yeah, <laughs> nah, I can dig it, man. And when you when would you say you jumped off the porch? Jumped off the porch? Yeah. Shit, eighteen. Okay. Nah, I can dig it. Um, when you, when you jumped off the porch, were you like, did you have mentors? Did you have like big bros, people that was, you know what I'm saying? Kind of giving you guidance and, and, and showing you the ropes in terms of like how to, you know, make moves, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, not, not really. It's like, I was kind of learning by myself, learning yeah. what's right from what's wrong yeah. type of shit. So. I can dig it. And at what point did you know that music was your calling? Man, once I start getting that that feedback, saying I should start dropping my, like my own sound yeah. when I was doing the impersonations of other people, okay. they say you should you should try to find your sound, see what you can do with that. Yeah, like try to elevate from that. Nah. So hell yeah, now we here sitting yeah. on these porch. Nah, for sure. Hell and yeah. at, at at what point did you record your first song? Uh, when, what year did I do it? Yeah, yeah. That or, shit was or, like, or even how old was it? You know what I mean? Like, so was I was it? like. 12. Oh, all right. <laughs> that shit was so ass. Yeah. <laughs> you remember what you was talking about, though? Like, what was you rapping about? Like, oh, yeah, I do, I do remember. That shit was so ass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to say it, That's man. funny. That was funny, man. And then, so, you started out making vines, too. Like, yeah. you, you was around during the vine era. Yeah, You know what I mean? Can you talk about that, bro? Like, because... To be creative enough to make compelling, some compelling enough content within like a six second time span. Yeah. I mean, that's that's not easy to do. Yeah. So can you talk about just what that was like? Man, it, it's shit. You just be you. Just be in front of the camera and just act goofy for seven seconds. Because yeah. that's what it literally was. Yeah. Only seven seconds. People don't know about Vaughn. Right, right. Because right. that Vaughn, Vaughn was way before TikTok and all this shit. Yeah, for sure. So hell yeah. So yeah. you just got to, you know what I'm saying? You better clown for them seven seconds. Yeah. No, I could <laughs> dig it, bro. And... How important is it for you, like, you know, when, when I first saw you and just saw, like, okay, bro, comedian, like, he dancing, he, you know what I mean? Like, I was like, damn, bro, triple threat, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Um, how important is it for you to just encompass, like, so many parts of creativity into what you're doing? Uh, shit, it feel, it feel good. People can be like, damn, that's that, you know what I'm saying? People be on their phones and shit like, oh, that's that funny dude. Yeah. Oh, that's that rapping dude. Oh damn, he be doing this and that. Yeah, he doing yeah. this. So it's like multi-ties, jack of all trades. Yeah. So no, for yeah. sure, for sure. And you know, it, it's dope, man, that you know, the mill being a city that's, you know, so, you know, so hood and almost to a certain degree has kind of a dark cloud over it, you know yeah. what I mean? But the current state of the music 
is good vibrations, you know what I'm saying? Like dancing, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Having a good time, just, you know what I'm saying? All that. How important is it, you know, to be making music with that type of message than to be sticking to the message of what we already seeing every day? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like out of the box, like trying to be different from everybody else. Yeah. Like, just like how we be. Like we be, man, we be wild in our videos. And I be yeah. like, man, I want, then people be like, man, I want to go with them. Yeah. Bitches be like, I want to hang with child. Yeah. So hell yeah. So yeah. hell yeah, we different with it. We different nah. with our vibes. No, nah, that's real. And people don't even understand that a lot of the times, man, the people that smiling the most and yeah. laughing the most usually be the ones that you like, you don't want to fuck with. You yeah. know what I mean? Cause yeah. it, it ain't, it's, it ain't sweet. You know right. what I mean? So, right. But, but nah, man, um, your new single, uh, Eat Her Up. Yeah. That's going crazy. Like, I mean, we've been seeing like so many people on TikTok, like yeah, doing yeah. the dance and Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying, going crazy with it. Um, how, yeah. like, how did that song come about? Man, so when I, I was at the crib, when I heard the beat, I was like, oh shit, hold on. We finna come up with some shit. Yeah. So I just, so I was feeling it and I'm, and I'm, and I'm doing this with yeah. my shoulder. Yeah. With the, uh, I'm like, oh shit, hold on. We finna go crazy. <laughs> Wow, fire beat it to the floor right now. Yeah. And then, but but I dropped it like months ago. Yeah. It's just now picking up type shit. Yeah. So it's this video we did. Like, it's this video my, me and my guy Nas did. Because mm. he a part of that shit too. Yeah. So we was fucking with, we was fucking with somebody. Fucking with the uh, store clerk. Mm. So, you know what I'm saying? We just doing the dance in front of him. Yeah. Kind of, he mad as a motherfucker. He mad <laughs> as hell. He got a whole attitude. We don't give a fuck. We still smiling in his face type yeah. shit. <laughs> and so that shit went viral. And then every, you know what I'm saying? Everybody started tuning in. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They was like, oh yeah. Because Nas looked like he from Ethiopian for real. Right, right. Yeah. For real. Like he got that face. Like, yeah. <laughs> they're like, dog must be from there for real type That's shit. That's funny. Yeah, because when I seen it, I was like, man, these cats dancing like they had an Ethiopian Hell wedding. Oh yeah. You know Shout out saying? to them. They, yeah. Hey man, let's go crazy. Yeah, nah, that's that's, that's crazy. Nah. And then you you just recently uh Billboard just, you know, released their top 50 uh, yeah. TikTok songs and you, yeah. were, and you was listed on there, man. How did that feel, bro? Man, I, I, I still think it's a dream type huh. shit. It's like, damn, finally, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then to make it, to even give it even more power and just even bring it home even better. I mean, shit, you had three artists from the mill that was on that list from Certified Trapper, JP and then yourself, you Man. know what I'm saying? Which is crazy because that's, that's really showing just how much motion the city got right Hell now. Hell yeah, you know the what light mean? on us right now. Yeah, no, nah, for sure. I mean, you know, again, how's it feel to, you know, be even in company with, you know, a bunch of, you know, artists and creatives. You guys are all like really, yeah. you know what I mean? Taking the city like to a next, you know, to a it's next just, level. It's, it's a blessing, man. It's like, man, it, Finally, bro. Just like I said, yeah. It feel like a feel like a dream, bro. It's yeah. like finally. Right. And I know my brother Bank looking down on me, happy as hell. Nah, for sure. So hell yeah. Yeah. Man, your song Backpack, uh, that went that went viral a couple Man. Of years ago. Went hell crazy. Yeah. yeah. Let, the first thing I want to ask you, bro, um, how difficult was it to clear that sample? Man, it's still difficult now. Shit. Huh. <laughs> Yeah. Hell yeah, but I but when that song was going right, that song was going so so viral. But yeah. I'm just mad that nobody know like people was barely knowing like who made it type shit. Right. And right. that was hard trying to put the face on it. Yeah. Cause that's that was me trying to do shit myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So just like now I got the people to show me the ropes what right, to do right. type shit. Yeah. So just like I said, ain't nothing wrong with just a little teeny bitty help. Nah, you know for sure. Saying? Do you feel like that was one of your like welcome to the music industry? Hell moments? yeah, y'all like a mm -hmm. yeah put in there. Yeah, like all right, you officially in the industry. We're Hell about to, yeah. yeah, we about to show you. You know what I mean? Yeah, nah, for sure. Cause it's so much more to it. You know what I mean? Like on the creative side, as an artist, you like man, you know, I got these ideas. I want to put it out. You know what I mean? Yeah. I want to put it out now. Yeah. But then there's so many steps that goes into you know what I mean, making sure producers are clear, right. making sure. You know what I mean? Other features and you know things like that. Hell it's yeah. more than just I'ma record it, drop it, shoot a video, and go. Hell you know what yeah. I mean? Got to make sure all the, the I's is dotted, yeah. T's is crossed. Mm -hmm. Nah, I can dig it. I can dig it. So then, even before uh, even before backpack, you had like the party mix. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That was going viral, and yeah. you had a couple of those yeah. um, that, that that was uh, that was going. Like, do you feel like 
those were like truly the the like the the, the preparation for backpack or did those like did those like make backpack you know really go or, yeah you know, like kind of make backpack really go hell yeah. yeah and then i also uh saw that there was some controversy because flo millie had re had um Use the same sample. Yeah. Right. And Hell yeah. yeah. She shit. She ain't say nothing. She was dancing to my shit. Word. She was dancing to the actual song back yeah. then. She was doing the, the routine and everything. Right. And everybody thought like, you know what I'm saying, was giving me black glass like, oh, this flow mainly yeah, she did it first. She did yeah. it first. But hell, whole time she fucked with it. Like she whole did time video and everything. The whole time it's all love. Yeah. People just be talking. You know how that be though. Yeah. Nah. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, we were talking about TikTok, and I definitely want to, you know, ask you your view on the possibility of TikTok being banned uh, in the future. Yeah. You know, being that that's been a platform, being a, a, a really um, strong platform that has helped you to, you know, reach the level and get to the point of yeah. success that you've reached. Man, how do you feel about that possibly getting banned? Man, shit, I hope they don't get banned, but shit, if they do, shit, we gonna have to keep going. Yeah. We gonna have to keep uh, going for the greatness, you know yeah. what I'm saying? We got Instagram. Yep, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. They got them YouTube shorts, uh -huh. you know what I'm YouTube shorts and yeah. everything. I feel, like, I feel like if and when uh, TikTok um, gets banned, I think YouTube shorts gonna go crazy. Yeah, go crazy. Yeah, yeah. and then I think, uh, I think kind of a sleeper is gonna be, uh, I think Facebook is gonna like, is gonna go up even more skyrocket. too. Yeah, just because when Facebook added that share button some years ago and it kind of brought them back into, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Uh, back to life or whatever yeah. i feel like now that's gonna be you know what i mean one of the places that's gonna grow a lot if TikTok get banned hell so. yeah and everybody gonna be back on that youtube university wave mm -hmm. you know what i mean because that's how people used to i feel like during the pandemic TikTok got huge from people uh finding different skill sets like oh, I, i'm gonna learn how to make a custom rugs or mm -hmm. i'm gonna learn how to you know what i mean do do all these different skills and yeah so, yeah no nah, for sure for sure um when you were, you know, uh, like doing the videos, imitating the rappers and, 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 and you know, making remakes of, of different songs, did you ever get any backlash from that? Like, did yeah. any artists ever hit you and, you know what I mean? Yeah, they, they be like, shit, man, you need to stop doing what, that, doing what the fuck they doing, bro. Drop your own shit. Yeah. So I ain't take it as offensive or anything. Shit, I took it as a compliment because, shit, they saying, come up with my own shit. And I, Elevate from there. Huh, yeah. So I'm like, so I took that as a yeah, as almost, a win. Yeah, take it as a compliment. Hell it's yeah. Like, shit, yeah. If, if, if I did this enough for you to recognize it and yeah, even say nothing, exactly. I mean, say something, then, yeah, yeah exactly. it must have been something. Yeah, nah. And uh, I saw Drew Scare brought you out of his concert too recently. Hell yeah. Man. Yeah. That shit was cracking. How was that, bro? That, that, that could have been concert. That, that been shit was cracking. Bro was on there too, yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. That was going crazy. He was the first contestant on that bitch, but yeah. hell yeah. Shit, he brought both of us out. That shit was that shit was cracking. Then what made me happy? The nigga said, "Man, play that shit one more time." Huh. And I'm like, "Man, hell yeah!" Yeah, nah, that's dope, man. Like it, it, it's ill to you know see you getting that that recognition. I mean, even with backpack, uh, didn't Young Miami uh, wasn't she like dancing with that? Man, a lot of people was yeah. Kodak Black. Uh, Man, it's a pl yeah. uh, lotto. Plenty yeah. of people was dancing to. Yeah, and then and then even to the new song, I think I seen. Uh, I think I seen Chris Brown do something. No, too, yeah, or? Chris Brown did it to my brother. Yeah, he did okay. the dance. Okay, but he like the actual song. That was my brother's song. Oh, he okay, okay, okay. Word, word. Yeah, oh, yeah. That, oh, that was the the JP bad. Yeah, yeah bad bitch. But then he doing yo dance. But he, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, yeah. yeah. And I mean that's ill. Like, I just I know that uh, JP he been you know what I'm saying blowing up lately with the bad bitty song and uh, he really I mean it seems like. He been, like it seems like him doing the dance and just all the guys just being in the mix. It's yeah. just been just good synergy and, yeah. and, and that really even helped to yeah. kind of catapult. You know what I'm saying? His his stuff to where it's going. Hell yeah. Yeah. Nah, that's what's up, man. And to have you know people so close to you, also you know what I'm saying reaching these heights. I know that got to feel good too because yeah. you know. You, it can't just be, you know, it's like, I know you sitting in your seat like, man, it can't just be me. Like, right. we all got to, you know what I'm saying, turn up. We all, all got to, you know what I'm saying, get motion. Hell yeah. Yeah, because at the end of the day, that's going to be, shit, the collective, is, I mean, that's just millions upon millions. Hell you know yeah. So, Hell yeah. Nah, for sure. Um, I remember, so you, you was doing those hood idol Hell yeah. <laughs> streams. Uh-huh. Man, like, what what motivated you to, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to do those? Shit, Drewski, when he was doing this shit, so I'm like, let me try that real quick on, yeah. on, on Facebook. Yeah. Man, it was a whole bunch of wild shit. 
Like man, that you shit was getting was, crazy traction with it. Too. Hell yeah. yeah, that shit was that shit was fun. Would you bring it back? Uh, yeah, I'll bring it back. Yeah. Yeah, since now my uh, Instagram going up, you know, I do it on Instagram. Yeah. Nah, I can dig it. Um, so uh, I saw that you uh, gonna be on that T Pain, um, that 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 Wisconsin uh, festival that they doing in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's that's a good look too. Just just seeing how bro is bringing so much energy, you know what I'm saying, to the city, but then having so many artists from the city, you know what I'm saying, on the bill. Cause yeah, I've yeah. heard in years in the past where, you know what I mean, like he's done these shows, but then people are like, yo, like you claiming our state, but ain't really showing, you know what I'm saying, our right. artists love like that. Right. So it's dope to really see, you know what I'm saying, like them showing love to the city and really paying homage, to, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, the right way. Hell yeah. Man, what do you have to say uh, to people, to the critics who, and it's mainly, you know, probably older people, but that get upset that, man, why, why this kind of music gotta, gotta blow the mill up? Like what? Every day. Man, we hear that hey. every day, man. Yeah. We hear that every day, but I don't know, man, because it it's probably because we, we in a different era, you know yeah, what I'm saying? For sure. it's a, it's the every shit change, man. Yeah, real stuff. You know? Yeah, <laughs> shit change. Yeah, it got yeah. to. I don't know, man. Nah, shit. I mean, I I rock with it because again, just speaking on just the vibration of the yeah. music and the direction, dog. Like yeah. I'm happy that because our city and, and and you know people only when Milwaukee people is together around people from other cities. Do they truly get the real understanding of what our city's like? You right. know what I mean? Because when they just, if you just in a room with somebody that ain't from the mill and you talking about, they're going to be like, oh, okay, I hear you. But yeah. they're like, man, my hood bad too. Right. So they don't understand really, really how much of a trap is, really how much of a war zone. Yeah. You know how it is. So it's so dope, like for, you know what I'm saying, the vibration of the music to be on a whole nother way. Hell yeah. And I know that you, um, you was planning, or did you do the MPS uh, school tour? Nope, I ain't doing it yet. Okay, um, okay, yeah. I, I think I was though. reading something about yeah. it, or you was talking about you're gonna do it. Yeah, that's okay. the worst, though. Yeah, no, nah, that's what's up, man. And, uh, like, really just tapping into the city and the community. Yeah, and, you know what I'm saying? I really did it so I could talk to the kids, you know, because just like I just got, uh, I was just talking to a kid earlier. He was being bad as hell. Hmm. So he had to hear from a person that he really listened to and look up to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna listen to us. You know what I'm saying? We, so we give them that positive energy, yeah. like, Man, sit your ass down, man. You know what I'm saying? Listen yeah. to the teachers and shit. Nah, you know, for sure. Like, just for sure. set a set a good, you know what I'm saying, role model. Be a good role model. Nah, that's what's up, man. And how important is it for you to be doing that? To be talking to these kids? To be really pushing that message, bro? Like, 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 why do you take that responsibility like that? Because it's easy to kind of like, since you popping, it's yeah. easy to not have to do that. Yeah, I just it's just the it's just the good heart in me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just to spread the positive energy. So that's all it be, just being a good person. Right, right. That's all. Now I can dig it. Um, so can you tell us about uh, Eternal Music Group? Hell the yeah. The label you on. MG, man. Yeah. Hell uh, yeah. Seen that old nigga at the bar. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we all chilling this shit, bro. Gang with me. Yeah. Seen this old nigga at the bar. He said, man, fit right, man. Fuck with me, baby. Fuck with me. Huh. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> so I'm like, man. And then I'm talking to these. And I'm like, man, y'all want to fuck with this nigga? <laughs> no. <Man>, like, <laughs> no. They're like, hell no! But <laughs> well, hold on, bro. Like, man, no, no, man, we gonna fuck with him, man. Come on, come on, let's do this. Let's do this shit for the one time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just get the feeling of it. So we fucked with him. It's so, all yeah. shit. We fuck with him. Yeah, yeah. 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 I don't know who he is. Oh, he's good. They end up being a hundo. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Nah, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. Real recognize real. So yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like shit. Sometimes it might just take a minute to, yeah. you know what I mean? To 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 see the real. You uh -huh. know what I mean? But nah, real always gonna recognize real. Now, um, your shows, man, like content I've been seeing from your shows, bro, like the energy is crazy. Yeah. I mean, again, like when I saw y'all at, at, at South by, y'all had Sixth Street going crazy. Man. You know what I mean? um, what's one of your favorite songs to perform? Uh, now it's Eat Her Up. Okay. Man, when they hear that shit, they just lose their mind, bro. It's just like you get in a fight position. You just, yeah. you just ready to energize it, turn up to a volume, a uh hunt. -huh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> They going crazy for that. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what's up, man. And then, um, so far, like, 
have you had like a, a like a favorite um I guess city that that's been showing you love or you know what I mean that you that you've been to so far or you know what I mean? Man, Texas. Huh. Texas. I yeah. fuck with Texas. Yeah. It's like man, when we went down there, a lot of, so many people was coming up to us like that that was love right there. So hell yeah, Texas. Yeah, man, nah, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Nah, I love Texas, man. Um what do you think uh is, you know, like the what do you think is like kind of, you know, up next, like in terms of your career and, you know what I mean? Like where are you trying to take things, you know what I'm saying? Now, now that the motion is, you know what I'm saying, is, is happening for you and some of these goals you done set are finally yeah. starting to hit. Like yeah. what, what's some of the next steps? What's some of the next Shit, things? The next step is to go bigger than what it is, never get too comfortable. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I'm just trying to move on up. That's the only thing to do, just move on up. Just yeah. never feel comfortable doing what you're doing. Don't just sit there. You know what I'm saying? Still working like nothing going on. Yeah. And if you could choose two artists um, that you, you know, that if, if you had a choice and they say, hey, give us two artists, you can go on the road with whoever it is, man. Who, who would you want to go like, on the road like with? Like famous? Uh, yeah, yeah, because I feel like if I don't say that, then you're going to say JP or you're going to say somebody Yeah, because I'm going to say these niggas, <laughs> yeah, yeah. JP or anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, nah, I get what you're saying. But yeah, but like, but like anybody like outside of the camp, you know what I'm saying? Like who would you want to also go out on the road with? Sexy Red mm. and Sizzle. Word, word. Nah, Sexy Red just had uh, that Rolling Loud going crazy. Going crazy. Yeah. Man, she be... That's my nigga, bro. Yeah. She don't even know yet. Yeah. <laughs> what's your thoughts on what's your thoughts on so many men being so upset about like the state of female rap and how all these women is coming up, man? Like, why so many men? Why are so many guys so against the women? You know, doing their thing because they sassy as hell. <laughs> man, y'all better let them females win. Let them do what they do, man. Yeah. Shit, that's just like shit. If they making their own money, we making our money. Shit, why we trying to look what them? What the fuck they doing? Right. We gonna get money over here, and they gonna get money over there. Yeah. Hell yeah. So it's like, man, let them females win, man. That that's the new generation now. Shit, if they want to rap about they private areas and shit like that. You know, <laughs> let them do it. Hey, come on. Hey. I mean, everybody. I mean, look, hip hop is about expression, dog. Yeah. It's about you know. Your expression, your your view on things, no matter mm -hmm. what it may be, yeah. you know what I'm saying. So, um, what's your thoughts on, uh, you know, the responsibility of artists to, you know, sort of speak more of a, I don't want to say a positive message, but just on the tip of like not glorifying some of the um, things that we see in the neighborhoods, because I feel like it's a difference between. If an artist is telling stories and you giving that social commentary about what's happening, but just glorifying just bullshit, you know what I mean? Like, what, what's your kind of thought? Like glorifying like the the, the, the killing shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, some people was raised like that. Yeah. And like they ain't, you can't take it out of them. So yeah, it's like I really right. don't, I really don't have an input on that. I guess to a certain degree, just like yeah. how I said, you gotta respect yeah. like 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 the female perspective Facts. of what they talking about. Facts. We gotta do that for them. Not yeah, it's like cut. that. It's like, yeah. we, you, can, you can put the knowledge to them, yeah. that shit gonna go right out of the ear. That's right. They're like, cause they so, they so in packed to the streets. They like, yeah. fuck that, I ain't trying to hear none of that shit. That's, That's what right. they be on, so I can't really, Change a man with his, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nah, Prerogative. Nah, true that, true yeah. that. That's why it's so important for us to just, I mean, at the end of the day, like, we got to make sure we right. right. We got to make sure our circle right, yeah. our family right, right, our nucleus is right. Yeah. And then go out and try to save the world. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Nah, that's real. Um, what's some of the next, uh, like, like, what you working on next? What else you got coming up? Uh, working on the album. You know, then I got, uh, Gonna do this rap thing that that on the radar in New York. Okay. Well, yeah. We yeah. Just, shout out the game, man. Hell yeah, yeah, we just going up, up each and every time. Yeah. All right. Nah, I could dig that. I could dig that. Um, what's one of the biggest life lessons you learned to this day, bro? Handle that business first. That's what it is, cause you know what I'm saying. Like, I had to went through some shit with backpacking. Maybe I gotta go through it to learn my lesson. For you know, sure. Type for shit. sure. That's what, that's what it is. Yep. So. Got to, you know what I'm saying? Got to go through something to learn it. That's absolutely. What, that's what absolutely, man. Experiences are important. Yeah, it really is. Because that's what gives us perspective. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's what, I mean, 
you can, you can, we can listen to our OGs and we can, you know, and, and take heed of the game that they've given us. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I mean, a baby still got to fall to understand, like, how to get back up exactly. and, and what that impact going to be like. You exactly. know what I mean? So at the end of the day, we still got to make our mistakes. We got to, yeah. and, you know what I mean? A, 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 a L is never a loss. It's a lesson. A lesson, You know sure. what I mean? So um, what would you say... Um, what would you say is, you know, one of your biggest inspirations to, you know, to do what you do and to continue to go hard? Like, what, what inspires you, bro, besides money? Yeah, it's like, like, like a person yeah, type shit? I mean, well, anything in terms of like, you know, maybe, may, maybe, maybe, maybe like, you know, doing the work that you're doing in the community and seeing like the impact of what you're doing, you know what I mean, to people or, you know, whatever it is, like just what inspires you besides money to, you know what I mean, keep doing what you do? My baby. Gotta go hard for him. Yeah. My mama, you know what I'm saying? Shit, my people, period. Yeah. Hell yeah, gotta go hard for my son. For nah, sure. that's what's up, so bro. he can, you know what I'm saying? Set an example for him so he can grow up. And when I get old, Nick can take care of me. Yeah, nah, for <laughs> sure. And what are some of the lessons that you are right now working to instill in your son and like some things that you want to make sure that he grow up with, you know what I mean? Like some lessons that he grow up with, you know what I mean? And, and, and so he can maneuver in the world. Uh, like, you know, I mean, like he's still a, you know what I'm saying? He like, oh, he's still like a baby, but yeah. still like, but it's all did. good though, bro, because yeah. you know, at, at these early ages, still teaching these kids like yeah. how to even be thinking about like entrepreneurship or yeah. understanding that you gotta earn something, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, okay, you want something, bet you gotta do some chores. Yeah, that yeah, that's basically why I be telling yeah. like, you know what I'm saying, like do this. Like when he on the potty, use the bathroom. Don't pee on your damn self. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. So you gonna sit your ass right here <laughs> until you use the bathroom type yeah. shit. So yeah, he know in his head like, yeah. damn, I know if I get up, yeah. use I'm, I'm, I'm daddy gonna whip my ass. So, <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? Just yeah. like that type shit. How, um, how much did being a father change you, bro? Uh, it changed me from like doing shit, knowing that I, you know what I'm saying? Like get locked up for and, and just like think like, Think, have, think be have better choices and Word, shit. Yeah, like yeah. it don't, you know what I'm saying, react. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You know, like motherfucker, fuck, what is it, react crazy? Yeah, do for something. sure, man. Then we regret it. You know what I'm saying? Now Absolutely. we, you know what I'm saying, in a fucked up situation. Bro, one of, the, one of the biggest mistakes that a lot of men make is reacting out of emotion. Yeah, that's what it is, yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? And a lot of times we do that, bro, because half the time, like, we don't even know, like, what triggered that emotion. Yeah. What made me angry, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Or what made me feel that way? And a lot of us, you know, n never take that time to try to identify those types of things, you know yeah. what I mean? And they, they consider when you, like, motherfuckers, like, try to take it out, they consider you soft, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Instead sure. of like motherfucker, like instead of being a man about it, they consider you as a as a bitch ass nigga. Right, some right, shit right. Like that. Yeah, no, that's real because like the stigma for men is that being masculine is being you know strong, hardcore, and yeah. never hurt, never vulnerable. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But what people don't understand is that a real man yeah. can be vulnerable. Can you know what I mean? Let you know his his feelings without. Yeah without spilling them on the floor right. and be, you know what I mean? Like you, you ain't yeah. wearing your, your, you know what I mean? Your, um, what, what do they say? You ain't wearing like your emotions on your sleeve, you know right. what I mean? But as men, we should be able to express ourselves exactly. and should be able to communicate because that'll uh, end a lot of the flashing out, right. a lot of, you know what I'm saying? Bullshit that Hell yeah. go down. So, nah, I could dig it. Um, what advice would you give to some, some young artists that's coming up that's sitting at their crib and maybe they made, maybe they first song they made was ass. Right. And they don't know what direction to go in and they trying to figure it out. And like, what advice would you give to somebody that's, that's, that's trying but don't know if they should take that next step because they're yeah. not sure if it's really that dope or not? Just, just have that, have that honest, have that honest person with you and that's with you 100%. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And just like, keep going type shit. Just, just fuck the negativity that come. Yeah. And that, cause that's what it come with. It come with backlash. Come yeah. with all of that. Yeah. So you just gotta have that tough skin and ignore that shit. Yeah. 
So that's what it is, you right. know what I'm saying? I can dig it. And man, I forgot to mention the lunchtime song with BFB Pac-Man. Hell yeah. Yo, that tra- that's, that's 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 one of my favorites, dog. Hell like, yeah. I, I love that song uh, and the visual too. Uh, how'd y'all cast connect, man? Cause y'all uh, styles are like, on some song, like it's, it's funny because when I, I remember the first time I ever, one of the first times I heard you, and even like on Backpack, yeah, I remember when I first heard that, I was like, man, bro would, like he would be, like him and BFP Back, yeah. Pac-Man would make a dope project together, yeah. you know what I mean? So like, how did y'all even connect? Right. Yeah, you know, it's crazy. They thought I was from Michigan first. Mm. So that's how, that's how I connect. Right. And then everybody would just keep spamming Pac-Man, like, you should do a song with him. Yeah. You should do a song with him. You should do a song with him. Yeah. And, I, and he just broke out and just DM me like, hell yeah, let's. Let's do something. Word. Ooh, type shit. I'm like, hell, man, when I seen that message, I got geek. Yeah. I'm like, hell yeah, I'm finna work two fat niggas. You know I mean, man? that's, but that's hard though that the fans made that happen. Yeah, like, the, the fans people, made it happen. You know what I mean? That's why I fuck with the fans and yeah. I actually talk to them back. Word, word. And how's it feel, bro, to be doing these shows and they rapping your lyrics and all that? And, and know, knowing your lyrics and, again, telling other artists how they need to be collabing with you and all that. Yeah. They really, you know, in with you. You know what I mean? It's a good feeling, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah it's a blessing. Shit. Like I said, finally. You yeah. know what I'm saying? If you could say anything to your fans right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, what would you say to them, bro? Like, if, you know what I mean? Fuck the haters. Do you. <laughs> Nah, that's what's up, bro. Um, and uh, what's next, man? What's coming up next? Uh, more shit. <laughs> more yeah. new shit. More a, elevated a new, shit. new mixtape or anything coming? I know yeah. you, you dropped one uh, back last year. Yeah. Um, yeah. I got one this too. Uh, it's called Up and Coming. It's okay. out right now on all platforms. But yeah, it's just like the next move is the best move. That's yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Nah, I can dig it, man. Um, you got any shout outs or anything you want to give? And shout out to the mill, shout out to Bank Boy, shout out to my brother, shout out to JP, shout out to my nigga Nas, cause he was a big part of this shit. I'm, I'm, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> and before we get up out of here, bruh, if you can give the people, um, if you could give the people some insight on just how to not be a cheap ass nigga, you know what I'm saying? Listen, my nigga. Don't be a cheap ass nigga. Hide them G's on you every time. You know what I'm saying? You ever tell a bitch I got G's? Yes, I did. On my mama. Uh, what are you talking about? Nigga? Stop being a cheap ass nigga. Right. <laughs> yes, sir. Man, we got our boy Big Frank jumping off the porch with yes, us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Appreciate Let's you, get bro. It. Yep, 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 yep. Fire beast to the flow right now. Right now. Eat a rub, show her how you get down. Get down. Up 